to my channel my name is Soumya in today's video I will be showing you how you can use the startup scripts to create customized compute engine instances I have logged into the GCP console here I click on compute engine let's click on create instance here provide a name to your instance I'll keep the region as US Central. So the machine configuration will be E2. Machine type will be E2 medium. So let's scroll down. So I'm using the default configuration whichever is available here. Next under firewall, click on allow HTTP traffic. Here under management, click on this drop down. So when we scroll down, you can see automation here. So here we will type a startup script. So using app update, we are updating the list of available packages and their versions. And using app install iPhone by Apache 2. This command installs the Apache 2 web server. Here iPhone Y flag automatically answers as to any prompts during the installation process. Next we are creating a custom HTML file. So here index.html is a custom HTML file which we are creating. So once this is done, scroll down and click on create. So this will create an instance. Let's wait for the instance to be created. It will take few minutes for the instance to be up. Now the instance is created. So you can click on this external IP. So this should take us to our custom web page. So this is our custom web page. So this is one way where you can pass the startup script. I will show the another method. Let's click on create instance. So here I will be naming my instance as instance2 and I will keep the default configuration as is. The region will be US central and machine configuration it will remain default. So here boot disk may ensure that you use the Debian image. Next here under firewall you have to check this allow HTTP traffic because we are setting up a web page so we have to enable this option next click on advanced option click on management instead of pasting a script here what we do is here so under metadata we will be passing the script path you can provide a name here and under value what we do is let me duplicate this tab. So here, let's go to cloud storage. Click on buckets here. So here you can see this is my bucket. This bucket is having my startup script. So here what you can do is, here you can click on this and copy the gsutil URI. Let's add back. Here, pass that value. So what we are doing here is instead of pasting a script under automation and this uh, box we are passing it as a metadata. So here I am passing the URL where my script exists. So let's click on create. So if you want to know what that script contains you can click on this. So instead of uh, pasting this script under the checkbox, we are passing it via a script. So now the instance 2 is also created. So you can click on this external IP. So this is our custom web page. These are the two methods in which you can pass the startup script. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.